Now let us solve question number 61. It states that solve the diagram given below. The values a, b and c are respectively out of these four options. You can see here this diagram shows that we are doing a series of calculation from this we are moving on to this number then we are proceeding with this calculation and moving on to these numbers. Let us solve this and obtain the values of a, b and c. Very first 4 upon 3 is multiplied with minus 3, 2 upon 3. This simplifies to the value minus 11 upon 3. So, when you multiply 4 upon 3 to minus 11 upon 3, you get the product as minus 44 upon 9. And next it states that A is divided by 4 by 3. So, we have here minus 44 upon 9. When you divide with 4 by 3, what will happen? Here you will multiply this with 3 upon 4 that is inverse of this. So, minus 44 upon 9 into 3 by 4 reduces this value to minus 11 upon 3. So, now I am getting b as minus 11 upon 3. Next, it is multiplied with minus 5 by 3. Two negative quantities are multiplied resultant will be positive. 11 into 5 you will get here 55 in the numerator while 3 into 3 gives you 9 in the denominator. So, we have a as minus 44 by 9, b as minus 11 by 3 and c as 55 by 9. So, when you find these three numbers where a, b and c are arranged respectively in this order. So, when I observe here minus 44 upon 9 is there in option number 2 and 3 where minus 11 upon 3 is only there in option number 3 and also we have here 55 by 9. So, I get a clear answer for this question which is option number 3. I can mark here the answer for this question is option 3. I hope this question is clear to you. Let us take up our next question. So, here we get question number 62. Here it is given that cube root of 42,875 is equal to 35 then the value of this given expression is equal to which of these options where options are 363.25, 350.85, 378.35 and 353.85. So, let us proceed with this question. When I simplify and write this given expression, I get here cube root of 42,875 upon cube root of 1000. Why so? Because this is 0 0.875. When you express it in terms of fraction, you get 1 upon 1000. So, we have cube root over that too and here it gives me cube root of 42,875. Here also, I am reducing it in terms of fraction where in the denominator, I get here 1 followed by 6 zeros. Next, here the third quantity is simply cube root of 42,875 into cube root of 1000. So, let us simplify this. This quantity is equal to 35 while cube root of 1000 is 10. Here I get 35 upon 100. Here I get 35 into 10. So, it gives me 3.5 it gives me here 0 0.35, it gives me here 350. So, we have 3.5 plus 0 0.35 plus 350. When you add these three numbers, you get the total as 353.85. So, this is the required answer for this question. This given expression equals 353.85, which is clearly found here in option number 4. I can definitely mark here the answer for this question which is option number 4. So, here answer is option 4. Now, let us take up our next question. Here this question states in the given figure ABCD is a kite such that AB is equal to AD. If angle BAD is equal to one third of angle ADX plus ABY then angle BCD is equal to so, here we have this kite ABCD where AB is given equal to AD. In a kite, if I have this adjacent side AB and AD equal, 
this simply means BC and CD will be also equal and what happens in that case? In that case we obtain these two opposite angles, angle B and D as equal angles. So, let us proceed with this question. Here if I say that this angle B and D are equal angles, you can find angle ADX is given to be 60 degrees using linear pair angles property. Some total of these two angles will be 180 degrees. So, I get this angle ADC equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees that is 120 degrees and as you know angle B and D will be equal. So, this angle will also measure same that is 120 degrees. If this angle measures 120 degrees, this means this angle using linear pair will be 60 degrees. As per the condition given in this question, angle BAD is equal to one third of sum of angle ABY and ADX. ABY as well as ADX are measuring 60 degrees each. So, 60 plus 60 I get total as 120. When you reduce it by 3, you get here 40 degrees. So, here I get this angle measuring 40 degrees. So, now talking about this kite, you are aware with measure of 3 angles of this kite, you can definitely get the fourth angle. So, let us use your angle sum property for the kite. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D will be equal to 360 degrees as per the angle sum property of a quadrilateral. So, I have obtained angle A is measuring 40 degrees, angle B is 120 degrees, angle C has to be obtained, this is the required angle BCD, angle D is measuring 120 degrees. When you simplify this from 360, you will be subtracting here 280 degrees, which will result here angle BCD measuring 80 degrees. So, angle BCD measures 80 degrees in this question. So, out of the four options, we have here these four options as 40 degrees, 80 degrees, 60 degrees and 100 degrees. The correct answer is here in option number 2 that is 80 degrees. So, you can definitely mark here the answer for this question is option 2. I hope it is clear to you. Let us take up our next question.